जय श्री माता जी अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन लटस पाउ डाउन टू श्री माता जी रेज अवर मदर कुंडली एंड पुट बंधन
Let us recite Shri Ganesh Mantra. Let us bring our attention in our Sahasra. Shri you are Sakshat Shri Nirvicharita. Kindly help us all to reach that state of thoughtlessness. Let us now listen to Shamataji's speech. It was such a surprise to see you all in that procession. <clears throat> Actually, I was waiting and waiting, and I thought, why these people are not coming to call me for puja? It was a beautiful surprise. It's very joy giving. Give me the other one. It's not good. This one. <coughs> it's all right. The <coughs> joy was. Dancing in your eyes, I could see the lights in your eyes. And this is the real Diwali. Diwali word comes from two words, Deepa, Deepa and Avali. Deepa means, you know, lights, and Avali means rows. Rows and rows of lights. It seems it's a very, very ancient idea. And all over in the world, you see, whenever they have to celebrate something, then they put lights. And lights, because light gives joy, gives happiness. So to overcome the darkness of ignorance, also we have to enlighten ourselves. And that is why it's important that everybody should get Self-realization, to feel the light within themselves. And you must have noticed that after Realization, the eyes also sparkle, this light in the eyes of every Sahaja Today is the day when we worship 
the Lakshmi. Lakshmi principle, which is in our Nabi. Lakshmi principle that is understood, I have told you many a time to describe Lakshmi to you, that she stands on a lotus and she has two lotuses in her hands. That means she is so benevolent, so kind, that she doesn't pressurize anyone. But normally you don't find that. Anybody who has money can just try to pressurize or try to push down. Even in Sahaja Yoga I've seen people like that. If they are a little better off, they try to push people, organize them, to control them. As if they think this is a power they have got out of the money that they have. But she herself stands on a lotus. That means on the beauty, the beauty of a being is shown that she doesn't trouble anyone, she can stand on a flower. So the first thing, those who have to worship Lakshmi have to remember one thing, that they are not to pressurize anyone, to push anyone, to control anyone or destroy. But she with her feet on the lotuses, nourishes the lotus. Now two hands she has got lotuses. Lotus is a sign of beauty and they being pink is love. So what does it symbolize? That a person who has Lakshmi, who has money, who has wealth, should be extremely generous like a lotus which allows a horrible gnat like black porky, poking thigh, little beetle, also to come into it and to sleep. And she provides in the lotus a beautiful bed of comfort to such a person. She is black, he's got uh, thorns in it, but he is coming to rest, surrendered, and then she covers it with her petals and makes it comfortable and protected. So for a person who has money, <coughs> that should be the temperament, otherwise he loses his money very fast. Or he is always insecure about his money, he doesn't know what to do. He wants to put money here, hide there, hide there, hide there. And there's no grace about such a person. And the house is such that you never feel comfortable because all the time they are worried the carpet will be spoiled, this will be spoiled, that will be spoiled, that should not be spoiled. What's the use of having such a house which gives you a headache? By well, common sense. A house should be such where you can live freely, at least a house should be done. But the soon we become materialistic, we get out of our Lakshmi principle. All the beauty of our wealth is finished. I have seen people that even a rat doesn't enter their house, live alone human beings. They polish their silver, they polish their brass, they polish their uh, furniture, their beautiful uh, house is done with beautiful uh, paper, expensive thing, but a rat also doesn't it. And this is what is the way Western materialism is, that we get so much worried about everything. I asked them, why are you so much worried? They said, because it's an investment, uh, we have to sell the house. Everything is an investment, they themselves are investments, I think. How will they enjoy? They cannot enjoy their wealth because everything seems to be an investment. 
Their heads is an investment, their hair investment, nose investment, ears investment, everything is an investment. What's this of becoming human beings? You are just nothing but investments. Doesn't matter if the house is little bit sold, you get little less priced, what does it matter? After all, you have lived in that house. But I've seen that it's very common that if a guest is sitting and the child spills something, immediately before the guest will start cleaning it. It's very bad manners. What is this carpet worth than a human being? So the Lakshmi principle is to understand that matter is for expression of your love. How much you do for us, how much comfort you can give for us. I have seen some people, I have been to some people, that the Gha Lakshmi, the woman who is in the house, won't even look after the tea of the people, nothing, she's just enjoying herself and bothering about the carpets or, I don't know, about the soap, about this, about this. so low level, it is not even, it's not even a humanistic thing. So Lakshmi principle means love. This very few people understand. To them Lakshmi means money in the bank. No, it doesn't mean that. It means money or anything like that to express your love. The another symbolic thing about her is she's a mother. And mother just gives, nirvaj. She doesn't charge any interest for what she gives, she just gives. Her enjoyment is giving. I mean, I always think, what should I cook for you? If I can do this, I can buy this, I can buy this present for you. I mean, Diwali is a good day for me that I can give you so many things that I want to give you. And I love it. Nothing like the joy of giving. If you have more things, it's a headache. It's a headache. But you think that I have to buy this thing now, what should I buy for? Oh, I have to give it to this person, this will fit that person, all right. So it relates to the collective feeling, a very beautiful feeling. So the Western people have to understand that materialism has gone too far into their heads. Everything to be insured. For what? But in India, if you have such people, I know, one or two people are like that in a, say, in a city, small city, then if they see in the morning these people, they'll go and have a bath. Or if they are seeing somebody coming from that side of that kind, they'll just go in the other way around. I asked, I said, Baba, that is when he's coming, he's a horrible materialistic fellow, better go this way. But here in, a, in the West, what should we do? Everybody is like that. Where should you hide yourself? So we have to realize, in all introspection, we have to realize that we have gone too much into materialism. That doesn't mean that you should not make money. That doesn't mean you should not work, you should be lethargic. That you should say that, uh, Mother has said now, let us be lotus eaters, not that. Try to understand. If you are making money, it is just to give. Then otherwise your situation will be bad, you'll be always insecure about money. And those who have money, instead of feeling secure, they are always shaking like this, I've seen them. So what is the use of having? It's better not to have anything like that, that shakes you. Better to settle down with a little hut somewhere and enjoy surgery. So Lakshmi Tattva is not one you Supposing you take a dog or take a donkey and put lots of notes on that, 
इलुकोरे में लक्ष्मीपति और टेक अनदर ह्यूमन बींग हुज गॉट टेन कार्ड्स टू शो ऑफ हज गॉट अवैंकी कार एंड हुई इज नर्वस ट्विची इलुकोरे में लक्ष्मीपति देर इज नो ग्रेस in this kind of money that people have they are crazy they have no traditions they have no sweetness nothing in them they are dry as if the whole juice has been taken out of the sugar cane they are like that. and nobody wants to go to such houses but to be very frank in such houses if i eat i get vomiting my lakshmi does not so you should feel obliged that you can give to others you should feel obliged that you can do for others this is first sign of a sadhu i should say but what i've heard from many people that people don't like to spend any money for sadhu or they spend for anything else they'll take some what to call the face what to call the cosmetics or men may buy something expensive watches and things but for sahaja yoga they don't want to spend now you have to know that sahaja yoga is for the emancipation of the whole world what is this cosmetic going to do for the whole world or your watch what is it going to do or the way you dress up or the way you try to show off is it going to help the world you are here to help the world and not to decorate yourself and just to make advantage of sahaja yoga so it's very peaceful sahaja yoga is extremely peaceful it gives you first the glimpse of lakshmi that it gives you money you are blessed and then that is the first temptation and you fall a prey and you go down so this lakshmi principle is to be understood in its proper way for sahaja yoga is very important because it is not so superficial as we think it is much deeper within us and when we touch our depth it shows then there are two other symbols we see with left hand she gives i've given this simile many a times that if you open one door the air won't come in you have to open the other door so it's a she must give so all those who have lakshmi tatva developed them they think of what to give but they don't give the worst thing that they have just take like a waste paper basket to the friend ah this is useless i better instead of throwing i can give it to that friend and then friend says all right it's very nice i'll give it to another friend and all friends are used as waste paper baskets whatever is the worst is given how can you touch your depth whatever is the best if you can if you are free to give you should give the best so one of the snacks is that we have never learned the art of giving if we learn the art of giving then it's so joyous so beautiful because we are very ego oriented we understand what gives us joy but we don't understand what will give joy to others and when we understand what will give joy to others 
then that joy reflects on us much more, thousand times. But there is then, as I said, that on the periphery both things work out. From one side are the miserlies, from the other side are the exploiters. So if you become generous, the exploiters are there. So then an antithesis. Another type of people become who get nervous, who don't know what to do, where to. In Sajok, you do trust me all the time. You give. Of course, sometimes you are exploited. So does not matter. That's not your lookout. You have not committed any sin. The one who has exploited you has committed the sin and he is going to suffer. So why should you worry? But with the help of this divine power, the one who exploits him will suffer. And you will get ten times more than what you have lost. This is what it is to be understood by such ways, that we are now blessed by this divine power. We are not alone. All the time is it blessing us. So giving means Nothing is mine. My, 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 my has to be done. Even in Sahaja Yoga I was surprised that people in the West who were not attached to their children get very much attached to their children. And they just think about their children and nothing else. This is a, another kind of selfishness. If you just think of your own children only and nobody else, then the same children will become devils and teach you a lesson. And you'll say, next time, oh God, don't give me any children. Had enough. But if you make the child collective and teach child to give others and to enjoy that, then from the very childhood the child becomes extremely generous. And if generosity is the quality, is of an incarnation, Aishwarya. Aishwarya doesn't mean only the money, the wealth, but generosity excels the money. That is his Aishwarya. And that is the sign of an incarnation and sign of a surgeon. The another hand is like this. That means she gives you protection. If you don't feel protected with money, throw it away. Just run away from it. Headache. But also she gives protection to others. A person who has Lakshmi, he has family, he has children, he has everyone. The worst thing I've seen, that in the West, the parents don't give any money to their children when they grow up. Then don't look after them, but they are so possessive. On the contrary, in India, we give all our lives to our children and we are least possessive. And they are even possessive of the grandchildren. That's why the families are like this, yeah. So the whole system has gone, in a funny way, chaotic. So it is important for Sahaja Yogis to understand that they will first of all look after their children, give them whatever they need, nourish them, give them guidance, don't spoil them. And secondly, once they are married and have children, they will not try to possess them and possess their children, their wives. And this protection that is given 
is the protection of a mother. Say, you are working in an office, you are working in a uh, hospital, you are working in a factory, anywhere. All other people who are working under you are your children, are to be treated like that and they have to feel like that. They have to feel it's a family. Try this. My husband, I told him that you treat your office as your family. So early in the morning they used to arrive from Calcutta about, say, five o'clock by plane. And I would myself cook their breakfast and give it to them. They were just ordinary clerks. Because this is how, through the protection, through the care, through the love, you can make them so dynamic. And that is how the Lakshmi Tattva will increase. Otherwise there will be strikes, there will be fights. This is enlightenment. That's why a person who thinks he is capitalistic must understand that the capital is worth nothing if you don't know how to use your Lakshmi principle. That's why they end up in jail, they end up in lunatic asylums, or they become uh, smugglers, or something happens to them, they just go off. They are never respectable. But I haven't seen any statue of a man who has been garlanded for being rich. So if you are rich, nobody is going to respect you. But for generosity, something substantial, what have you done? Something substantial. For others, for the society, for surgery. We are working out now ashrams, and projects and things and all that. But when it comes to money, Sir Jogis think, no, no, that's not my job. Only I can send my child there. Mother must look after all the children, mother must do this, mother must find out this, she must provide for this, everything she should do. Now what about me? I'll just put money in the bank. Swiss bank special. So one has to decide how much of my money I am giving for the work of Sahaja Yoga? I don't want your money. No money is to be given for Sahaja Yoga in the sense for your realization. But if you have to have a hall, if you have to have a program, if you have to have an ashram, anything is to be done, you need money. And for that anybody asks, all right, give one pound each. They won't give. No, why should I give one pound? And there's a national uh, competition, national competition. It shows that still you have not touched your depth. If you touch your depth, you'd give and you'd enjoy your giving. You must touch your depths. So the enlightenment is yet not complete. Now, I'm saying it to you all individually, you introspect yourself and see for yourself. Let us see, count how much money have I given for Sahaja Yoga work, all of us, individually. Now, ma, it will give me, me present because you think that gives you blessings. That's not the point. Point is how much money I have kept for Sahaja out of mind. This is the first question of Lakshmi principle. Now, how the Mahalakshmi Tattva comes in? First the Lakshmi. Lakshmi is born out of the sea. Now, why she was born out of the sea? She was born out of the sea because her father he is a generous personality. Look at the sea. It spreads its wings all over, gets itself heated up completely, 
so that clouds are made and these clouds go and bang at those high mountains where it rains, they form the rivers and then they come back to the sea. But all this while the sea contains all the salt within itself, all the salt is within itself. And then it gives salt. Christ has said, you are the salt. What is the salt? Salt which gives the taste to food is your guru principle. You cannot become a guru, you cannot become a leader if you are a miserly person. You cannot. How horrible you would look, just imagine.
let us recite the mahamantras Thank you, Shamata Ji, for this beautiful morning meditation. Let us all bow down to Shamata Ji, raise our Mother Kundalini, and put bandhan.
वी विल कंटिन्यू अगेन टुमारो मॉर्निंग सेम टाइम जय श्री माता जी